So now let's talk about how to read uh, this file, which you can see it has a column called date and it has dates in it. And we want to parse these dates while reading this file. So first of all, we should import uh, the pandas package. So we import pandas as a PD, that's it. Then I want to read uh, this file, which you can see this is the path of this file, and this is a CSV file. So I simply type pd.readcsv because I want to read uh, that CSV file and I should pass the path of that file, so that's it. And remember to put this R before the string, it means raw text, it means consider this text as it is. So that's it, and I store the results in a variable, let's say called df, and now if I print the df, and if I run a code, you can see here's the result, and you can see that it shows these results, which you can see this is the date column, this is the content type column, and this is the views column. But now if I simply type df dot info and if I run a code you can see the date column you can see the date column is object it means it's it's a string column so as you can see pandas package has not read this column as a date time it has not parsed this column as date time so we need to do it manually as you can see automatically pandas has not parsed this column as date time so in order to do so, first of all, let's once again print the data frame. And if I run the code, you can see this is the format. So first of all, we should specify the format of this column. We should specify the format of dates in this column. So let's specify that in a string. So the format is as follows. So you can see the first one is the year with century. So in order to denote year with century, I should use the person sign and capital Y. And maybe you ask, how do I know that person sign with capital Y means the year with century? And this is a thing that I'm going to show you in this video, but not now, so please wait a minute. So you can see, first of all, we have the year with a century, then we have a dash, then we have the month as the zero padded number, so we should denote that in this way, and then we have the day as zero padded format, which we should simply type this in order to denote a day with a zero padded format. And in order to denote those formats, you can use this page, this web page, which the link is in the description below. You can see that the person sign with capital Y means year with century, and with small y means year without century. And for example, person sign M means month as zero padded number. And for example, person sign D means day of the month as a zero padded number and etc. So the link is in the description below and you can use it. And after defining this format, we need to define a function in order to convert the strings to uh, the time. So in order to do so, first of all, we need to import uh, the daytime module. So I simply type from daytime, import uh, the daytime. But now let's define the function. And in order to define the function, we want to use uh, the lambda function format. So for example, it takes an input like x, which for example, it's a string. And then we are going to use uh, the daytime module. And we are going to use str to time so we want to convert the string to the time that's it and we want to use this function in order to convert the input to the time but we should specify the format as well the format of strings in our column which you can see this is the format so let's use this format and now let's choose a name for this function so i store this in a variable for example let's call this date parser and you can see this is the function that is going to convert the string to time using this format. So now after defining this date parser, this date parser function, you want to read our CSV file and we want to convert this column to the daytime format. So let's cut this line and let's, and let's paste it here. So you can see that the columns which you want to parse as dates is the date column so you can see the name of this column is date and remember that you should put this in a list then we should define the date parser in order to specify the format which we are going to use in order to convert these strings to time so the format the function which is going to convert these strings to 
time is this function, date parser. So this is called date parser. This function, which is going to convert these strings to time, is called date parser. It means the way that we are going to parse dates. So that's it. So now if I print the df, and if I run the code, you can see here is uh, the output. And if I simply type df.info, and if I run the code, you can see now this column, I mean the date column, is considered as date time. So we can see we have successfully converted the date column into the date time format. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.